Hello and welcome to the Minutes to Win It podcast. I'm Big Italy 42. He is Jason Gobo at jgobo11. Talking about tonight's slate, which uh, there's a 5 o'clock slate, 7 o'clock slate, all but one are the same games. It's kind of a weird night, um, depending on what site you're playing on. But we're talking about the 7 o'clock slate, so throw out that 5 o'clock game that, I mean, I hate when those games are included, and that's the one game in a slate anyway. But um, either way, save yourself for two hours, watch yourself some football, something else, and get ready for the 7 o'clock slate, because it's going to be a roller coaster based on all this injury news. You and I were trying to compile all of it earlier. We're seeing... In, out, probable, game time decision, uh, everything changing by the minute. So we'll tell you what we know now and tell you who to monitor. Um, looks like Rodney Stuckey for Indiana is going to play, um, expected to play at least, was originally questionable. So that takes a little bit away from guys like Monte Ellis. Um, George Hill was originally said to be probable. Now all of a sudden he's a game time decision and they're going to monitor him moving forward. So really George Hill changes things for Stuckey and for um, Monte Ellis and Paul George a little bit as well. But um, outside of those guys, I mean, it's pretty concentrated value, really. So assuming that Stuckey plays, and he should, if George Hill sits out, bump up Ellis a little bit, but Paul George is going to get a bump as well. Yeah, uh, same thing with C.J. Miles. Um, yeah. He may get a little bit of a knock with minutes um, if Stuckey's back tonight, which he is you know, yeah. expected to be. So, um, you know, Miles has been that chief small forward play. Still like him tonight, I guess. Um you know, if the injuries do happen to where he can get some minutes, uh, he's a probably solid punt play. Yeah, and I mean, small forward, not a great position tonight anyway. So, yeah. CJ Miles, definitely a nice uh, nice punt. Um, Mo Williams, not going to play tonight. He's out. So, um, fire up the Aussie. Uh, Matthew Della Vadova. Uh, I, I hate to play this guy because, I mean, I, you got to love his effort. But, I mean, his jersey doesn't even fit. Like, get this kid a child size jersey so that it actually fits him. I just feel bad for the guy, like, wearing the jersey. But you, you got to give – you can't knock his hustle. Like, you don't see anybody playing harder than this kid. But, I mean, you also see the fact that in, he had back-to-back games at 49 total minutes where he totaled two points and two rebounds. So this, this guy, he's – a hustle player, and that's it. He's not a tremendous basketball player. He's not a tremendous athlete. He just plays really hard. So he's going to play a ton of minutes tonight with Mo Williams out. You imagine 35-ish probably. He played 39 last game. So relative to the fact that he's cheap and he's going to play a lot of minutes, he's a guy you have to consider, I mean, even in cash games tonight. Yeah, I just think because of the point guard situation tonight where it's really it's pretty ugly i mean we're looking at john wall not a great matchup against jackson kind of vice versa there too not a big fan of reggie jackson i mean we're probably looking at mike conley being the top option at point guard and then going value somewhere so we're just waiting on that injury news for all those guys to really figure things out yeah and then for the fourth straight game we don't really know what's going on with jeff teague he's questionable for tonight we know the hawks um He's questionable now. Maybe he just doesn't play. Maybe he plays. It's that whole situation with the Hawks. They like to wait till the last minute. We've seen this many times. So if he sits out once again, obviously Dennis Schroeder is going to be a nice, popular play, as he should be. Um, even if Teague plays, we hear he's limited. I think Schroeder's a fine play right around 5K. Um, he's a guy that is going to play, you figure, 28 to 35 minutes, probably closer to the 32 to 35 if Teague doesn't play. So he'll be a popular value, um, assuming Teague is out. But... Like we said, we don't really know. Um, Kent Bazemore still out, so if Teague does play, Schroeder will probably just see um, quite a bit of time. Similar minutes, I would guess, but just see some time at the two. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of one of the safer things with Schroeder tonight, which you like if you plug him in and we don't have any news before 7 o'clock. Because, I mean, he's going to get 25-plus minutes anyway, um, regardless of who starts, because that's just his role on the team. So I uh, feel safe about Schroeder tonight, but you do like him more if Teague's out. Yeah, and I'm a big fan of whichever Hawks guards are playing. Because, I mean, you're going to yeah. see defense from uh, Della Vadova and J.R. Smith, and no one's afraid of either of those guys. I don't know. Those high school kids, I mean, <laughs> if he's choking kids, I don't know. I'd be scared. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Della Vadova, he's the guy who... You watch broadcasts of the uh, NBA Finals and everyone says ignorant things like, look at him stopping Steph Curry and stupid things like that. I mean, he's more of like the pesky little kid that you're playing on the playground and you're just like, okay, watch out. You can't extend your arm. You don't want to get the offensive foul, but you kind of just say, okay, I'll just shoot with this arm. And you just get him out of your way. But either way, no one in that backcourt, a uh, great defender at this point. So um, hustle, yes. Hustle doesn't mean that much, though, in this in this regard. Um Next up, talking about Bradley Beal, we saw doubtful, then we saw questionable. It's been a situation with him 
you know, for quite a while that we don't really know what his deal is. He's missed the last three games now. Um, did practice, they said, in full yesterday, but it's a shoulder injury. So it seems like it'd be one of those situations where even if he does play, he's probably not going to play a full complement of minutes, probably low 20s. So really not a guy that I'm playing at all, even if he does play. No, I'm with you there, just because he probably could be limited. Um, shot could be off just with the shoulder anyway. This is a row we've been down before. I mean, Bradley Beal's been a guy who's been knocked around quite a bit. So um, if he is out, Garrett Temple probably going to draw the start again. Um, you know, he's been getting pretty solid minutes. you got to like him where he's shoot a, uh, shooting guard eligible and not point guard eligible. So, Yeah, and I mean, minutes, like you said, with Temple, 31 and 30 last two games. So it should be yeah. right around there again. And um, looks like Otto Porter left last game with an injury. But no news this morning that I've been able to find at all on him maybe missing the game. So it seems like it was a precautionary thing that he'll be fine. Um, and he's been a great value play recently at a pretty weak small forward position. So i um, assuming that he's fine, even better so if Beal doesn't play, more shots for him. Um, I, I'm still a big fan of uh, Porter, who's probably going to see you know at least 30 minutes again tonight. Yeah, and you look at you know his, his shots have been up. He's actually been shooting the ball fairly well and you know kind of grabbing some boards, assists too. So he's definitely worked himself into the game with Beal out. Yeah, so uh, it's and small forward is pretty top heavy today, um, so that's a guy we definitely need to consider. And then uh, Luol Deng, another guy questionable for tonight. Game time decision. Looks like he has an illness. They don't say what it is. Maybe it's the flu. Who knows what it is? Not a guy that you were thrilled about playing anyway. He's been very oh. roller coaster type. Uh, always just a GPP play anyway, but could add some value to some guys um, in the backcourt there. I mean, Tyler Johnson's the guy that's come off the bench and had sporadic good games um, at times. So he's a guy that could see some more shots maybe in this game. Um, but either way, it's it's still the heat, and they play at a slow pace. It's a good matchup against Philly, but I'm just not in, I'm not going to go out of my way to force um, players from this game into my lineup. No. I think the thing is, with if Luol Dang does sit, I mean, you're going to see Justice Winslow get 30 minutes. I think this game is probably going to turn into a blowout anyway, so you're going to see guys like Tyler Johnson and a lot of the younger guys get a lot more run, and the matchup's great. I mean, Tyler Johnson, I mean, 30-plus DK points in two of the last three there, and, you know, definitely up and down. He's got a low floor, but if you want to take a punt on him, I mean, he's worth a shot in tonight's matchup. Yeah, and, I mean, he's got more upside than Justice Winslow, as we've seen, who's yeah. been playing right around 30 minutes, but just he doesn't take many shots. He's just kind of the guy that is out there getting acclimated to playing in the NBA. He's not being asked to do very much. Um, Dwight Howard, no official word yet that we've seen, but it is a back-to-back, so we tend to assume that he's going to sit out, obviously monitor that situation to see beforehand, but assuming that he sits, um, you give a bump, of course, to James Harden, who's going to see his minutes when he's going to see his minutes, but slightly higher usage. Maybe you see guys like Trevor Ariza take on a little bit higher of a role, and Ariza finally, after a really slow start to the season, over his last or I guess the slow start was only the first three or four games, but over the past couple weeks, I mean, he's been very good. Back to his normal 35-plus minutes and uh, 25 to 30 fantasy points seemingly every night. Yeah, grabbing two-plus steals a game like he usually does and starting to really hit the three ball and, and shoot him up. So, uh, I mean, I love Reza right now at his price. I think you got to grab him. Yeah, absolutely. And then some other plays that we like, um, you already mentioned Conley at point guard. Point guard, not a great position. Good spot to save money at, lit, really, yeah. tonight. Uh, Tony Parker's been getting some minutes, but he's got a kind of a tough uh, matchup against Mike Conley there. Um, shooting guard, there's not a whole lot. I mean, if you're paying up, it's obviously Harden or it's Greek Freak, Giannis against uh, the Pacers. Um, Dwayne Wade's been having big usage, but at the same time, um, he just still isn't seeing big minutes. I mean, 31, 32 in his last two games. I mean, you're just hoping his shot's falling for him um, at his current price tag to be able to pay that off. So for me... Not a guy I'd be playing in cash games. He's more of a GPP guy for me. Yeah, I'm with you there. He's kind of much on the lines of like last night. Um, matchups not too bad. I mean, could be a high scoring game from both sides. So, uh, you know, definitely a tournament shot. Yeah, and then uh, small forward. Of course, you got LeBron James. No analysis necessary there. Um, but for me, assuming that guy like George Hill sits, if he does sit, even if he doesn't, I love Paul George. It's hard not to love Paul George. It gives you a great floor. Big time ceiling as well. Um, same goes for Kawhi Leonard. If uh, Lamarcus Aldridge sits, no indication that he's going to, but did leave or did have an ankle injury last night. Played through it. Tend to think the Spurs err on the side of caution as they usually do, and he sits yeah. out. So those two guys have been the usage guys for the Spurs so far. So if Aldridge sits out, I expect uh, Kawhi is going to take a nice um, uptick in um, at least in production, maybe not minutes necessarily. 
Yeah, and this is another game. 8.30, maybe not get the news an hour and a half early, especially with Pop and how he likes to play it. So um, I think there's a lot of risky, I mean, not risky plays tonight, but I mean, just injury-wise, we're going to be, we're going to have to be on our toes because uh, I'm sure that barrage of news is going to come at 6.30. Yeah, exactly. So don't get comfortable with your lineups this yeah. early. Definitely something to check back on. Um, another thing, Zach Randolph missed last night's game. Um I think he's officially questionable for tonight. Either way, if yeah. he sits out, we saw what Marcus All did last night in a much, much tougher matchup. Um, had a phenomenal game. 16-11-11, triple-double with four steals. Um, hell of a game for him. And then now t- tonight he gets the Spurs, who good defensive team, but have given up some really big games to big men. So definitely a guy that I'm keeping on my radar here. Yep, I'm with you there. And if you're looking for someone to fill in for Randolph, uh, I'm not looking at Jermichael Green tonight in this matchup. I'd rather just go with Gasol. Yeah, exactly. They're probably not going to ask him to do too much there. Because, um, I mean, and he, even when he's gotten his minutes, the last couple games, 30 and 23, 14 and 8 fantasy yeah. points on FanDuel. So not much production to see yeah. there. How forward do you want to pay up tonight? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. De- definitely some good options there. Kevin Love, uh, Millsap, both those guys facing off against each other. Um, oh. Bosch, if you're believing that that game stays close, is a fine play there also. Yeah. All right, that's going to wrap things up for us here. Find us on Twitter at DF Cafe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lots of other great content at DailyFantasyCafe.com.